Oh yeah. Very snuffly today though. Uh, my nose is playing up. She's broken. Mm. She wants to go home. <laughs> she fell. Now. On different Wi-Fi now, so hopefully it's working. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, we can have a little wander. We're going to go see some more quilts. Um, I promised I'd do the miniature quilt exhibition, which is in the main hall, so that's where we're going. Um, you're going to have to really excuse the snuffles today, my gar darlings. I am mega, mega snuffly. Um, yeah, really not good this morning. Had a bit of a reaction and uh, it's made, made it bad. So, uh, so excuse me for that, but flip you around. Let's go for a walk. So... Um, apparently our Brenda's here as well. I've just seen her uh, uh, partner in crime and uh, they are here, but I haven't even shown you half of what, what's going on in here. So uh, we're going to go for a proper little, little walk because it's Sunday and Sunday always tends to be a little quieter. Please do say hello if you're there. Hopefully this is all working now and um, everything's okay. Right, we're going to go right to the back. We're going to go right to the back of Hall 7 and have a look at the quilts up there and work our way down through. Um, so you're going to have to just put up with me, I'm afraid. <laughs> Anybody there? Anybody up on this lovely, lovely Sunday morning? Oh, I have to say, I know Sarah's a little tired, but we're all a little tired. It is a crazy, crazy show, this one. Hi, Joyce. How are you, darling? I hope you're well. There's a, there's a J and B stand just there. You've got block printing, stitching post behind. Uh, we've just rebooked for um, next year. Oh, I didn't show you this, guys, did I? Hi, Nikki. Hi, Ali. Hi, Leslie. Ah, oh, hi, Libby. Good <laughs> morning. <laughs> um, so. For those of you who haven't seen it yet, because it's not on our website, because we bought it straight here, this is the postcard from the Highlands, new Liberty Range. I am taking it on Crate and Craft um, on the 17th of August um, with a new quilt kit and stuff. I'm going to hover on that so you can have a little read. It's yummy absolutely beautiful we've sold loads of it here it's been really really popular morning linda Lou. how are you darling yeah been really popular i'm not surprised it's gorgeous there we go got that little little cushion there as well um is that the new denim one, that one? this is the new ah there we go so this is the whole range we have we'll have it in the shop but it's going on festival first but yeah, it is gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous with those stunning blenders. Um, did you say you've got the new denim one coming up? Is there a, that, that one there? Oh, on the blue wall. Right, this is the new range. This is coming in October, late November. And it is, I mean, it's just not, it's not available anywhere yet. So you're getting a proper little sneak peek, but it's very, very beautiful. All these beautiful denim blues. I love that little bit of corally pink against it. Uh, doing a great job on the walk rides. Oh, thank you, my darlings. Uh, you, someone's got, got to keep me busy. Come off it. There we go. And that's lovely as well. That's all done with like um, Wiltshire shadow, not Wiltshire shadows. Yeah, the Wiltshire shadows and stuff. All the different blenders. Yeah. Really beautiful quilt. Cool, right. I promise I'll do the miniatures. I've got to go find them. <laughs> right, let's have a little look. I think I saw them in here. Yes, here we go, lovely. Right, Gwyneth, this is just for you, lovely. Because I promised I'd do some of the miniatures. Then this is the miniature quilt group um, exhibition. I'll show you some of these lovely, lovely little miniatures. Teeny tiny art. Oh, these are all really cute. I love that one. That tiny, tiny little log cabin. Another little tiny log cabin. There's some gorgeous work here. There's a lot of um, people using me mesh at the moment and stitching over it. I've seen quite a lot of quilts like that here. Um, oh, this was the Chinese Whispers thing. 
Charlie's Whispers. I'm going to hover on that. I saw this at um, the um, the show I went to in Cheltenham, the little quilt group show, and they did a Chinese Whispers thing, and it was really clever, really nice idea. Let me come through here and just show you some of these ones, guys. Hi. <laughs> I like that as well. That's beautifully done. And that's really stunning as well. Look how that pops out. Remember, they're only sort of like hand size. These are teeny tiny little quilts. There we go. So half. <laughs> Some really interesting work. Love the denim. I know that's beautiful, wasn't it? We go. I'm going to come down this way. Sorry, ladies. <laughs> There we go. We've got so just hover on there for you. Your Facebook yeah, just doing a little Facebook live. I try and do a walk around each day for those ladies who can't make it or missed out on things. So we uh, get lots of people tuning in. Then it goes onto YouTube and stuff afterwards so that people can see what what people are working on. So I love this. It's all done with like wool. It's all like I'm wool applique. Ah, oh, right. Yeah, it's beautiful. It might be the flower one on the end. Yeah. Morning, Claire. Good morning. Love all those tiny, those tiny little bees. How cute is that? Here we go. Really, really beautiful work. Here we go. So, I will try and find the competition. Oh, sorry. <laughs> we'll try and find the competition. Um, uh, what's the word? What's the word I'm looking for? Miniatures as well. Um, I'll try and get back round there, Gwyneth, to have a look at those too. Uh, we did the Winners Galleries yesterday. What I want to do, I'm going to go say hello to some people we actually haven't seen. I haven't been in that top corner at all. Uh, this is Quilt Works. Oh, these are cute. They've got little calend quilt calendars. They've got some books and things. All sorts of yummy stuff. Oh, I love the chopping boards. Those are cute. Oh, and some really cute jigsaws, if you like a jigsaw. And some journals and all sorts. Another day to be creative. Planners, A3 planners and all sorts. Ah, oh, nice. Nice, nice little bits there. Right, okay, let's go and see if we can see. I'm going to go right to the top and we're going to walk back down through. So... How are you all this morning? Everybody okay? Who's that? Um, hi Cheryl, how are you? Lovely. So we've got a big dooky sand. Let's go and have a look at the, this exhibition up here. Because there looks some really interesting stuff up here. I haven't even got this far. I really haven't. <laughs> okay. What's this here? This is Judith Martin, Softer and Dreamier. So this is a little exhibition of her work. I'm just going to have a little wander around these and show you them. So I'm going to hover on that for you so you can read it at pause and read. Oh, I like that. There is something really like they are really soft, aren't they? She's used different textures and stuff as well. You've got velvety bits. And then sort of done this sort of like sashiko -y type stitching into it. Long stitching and stuff. You really are like little art pieces, aren't they, more than quilts? Oh, I feel like I have to speak softly. It feels like a gallery. <laughs> well, it is a gallery. It's just a quilt gallery. Mm. That's interesting. It's really, really subtle when you stand away from it. But it's like a whole cloth quilt with like doilies attached. It's actually really beautiful. Gorgeous texture on it. Okay, we're going through here. Are they, well, they are quilted. Oh, I don't think they don't. They don't look like they're actually got any water in them, but I think they must have. Or whether it's just the fact she uses quite thick materials and then that kind of does it. And this is uh, Chroma Tales. This is Caroli uh, 
Carolina Oneto. Oneto? I don't know how to pronounce the name, sorry. I love these, those are really bright. Again, hand quilted, which is nice to see. She done like long, long stitch quilted in these. But these are an absolute riot of colour. Really beautiful. Love that one. Absolutely love that. It's really lovely how you get these incredible little intersections. Look how that all joins. I love that. I could live with that on my wall. Definitely. And those two down there I think are stunning too. That orange against the blue, oh uh, the blue rather, against the orange, it feels like you could step into those blue ones. There's such depth into them. So are they reversibly caved, do we think? I think they're, I think they're inset. Yeah, inset in. Because there's no, no real join or anything. You know, you can't, it's not like they're just blankets stitched on top or anything. Morning, Margaret. That's gorgeous too. And I love this. I think this, this is amazing. Really, really beautiful pieces. I like the fact on that one she's mixed machine quilting and hand stitching. So she's got these lovely parallel lines of machine quilting, but then you've got these really lovely little intricate machine quilting, uh, hand quilting bits. That's gorgeous. I like the texture changes in that. Oh, sorry, that was really fast. Hi, Melba. How are you, love? Here we go. Oh, sorry. Oh, I've got a couple of shout outs. So that was my, that little bong was my son texting me back because it's Rory Benjamin, my oldest, my big boy's birthday today. And I'm here and I don't get to see him. So, and it's also uh, our Caroline's birthday as well. Caroline Davis, happy birthday, darling. I imagine you're not there watching. I haven't seen you yet. So, uh, I imagine you're having a nice birthday breakfast, hopefully. <laughs> I like that. I really like that. It's clever. There we go. Right, so that was that little exhibition. And I'm going to go up here. Um, I mean, there are loads of those little drop-in exhibitions all the way around the shows. Um, they've got so much, you know. Uh, they've got Bombay stores there. Got the big jiggy stand. There's so much to see and do here. I mean... If you've never done festival, it's worth doing it, but do two days if you can. If you can, it's you know, within your budget. Grab a little Airbnb or a hotel, stay over and do two days. Oh, really love the improv quilt and it's so fluid. It really is, Claire, isn't it? It's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Uh, you've got Shoot Lane here. You've got Sewing Sanctuary. Hello, lovely. You all right? I am fine. Good, good. Oh, thank you. Yeah, it's been, had a good show. Yeah, yeah, yes, it was a bit quieter, wasn't it? But yeah, yeah, first two days were excellent. Uh, here we go, we've got slow motion here. There's our Brenda. I wondered where she was hiding. There she is. Hello. We're literally on opposite ends of the show. You're up here and we're all the way down there. We didn't know if you were here or not. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> I fainted you now. You had a good show, love? Yes, thank you. Yeah, it's been busy, hasn't it? It's lovely. Good, 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 darling. We'll catch up soon, hungry. Oh, it's got some bits that Sarah would like here. Lots of different bits here. Uh, you've got Rosenberg up here. Quilt for care leavers. Hi. So I know a lot of you ladies do Project Liners, but this is another charity you really should have a, have a little look at. Quilt for Care Leavers. They do some amazing work. Um, and for those of you, you know, who don't necessarily... In fact, actually, there's their charity number and all there as well. You can zoom in on that. They do some really fantastic work. Um, we used to know a lady who, who was one of the organisers um, in our area. And uh, they do really, really lovely jobs. So if you don't necessarily want to do Project Linus or you, know, you want someone else to sew for 
try out quilt for care leavers. Hi Maria. When do you go from being a home sewer to an exhibitionist? The time you would have to spend is incredible and they're amazing. Absolutely lovely. I think, you know, a lot of those people that have full exhibitions, it's their job. They they just do it. We've got Crafty Quilter here. I'm just going to walk down, OK? have got Cloth Atelier. Walk down and talk. Um, they do it as their job, I believe, darling, you know? Hi. Some really interesting prints and all there, actually. Lovely work. Um, who else have we got? We've got So Different just here. Love that pinafore dress. That's really cool. Really cool. Ooh, yeah, they've got some lovely patterns. Nice patterns there. Nice fabrics too. Uh, fabric Owls, that's another one I've not seen before. Uh, you've got Barn Yarns again. You've got Stuart Hillard's here. Uh, Kate's cloths there, she's got lots of threads, hi, threads and stuff. So I'm going to make my way down to this bit. <coughs> I think it's just practice, I think people decide that that's, you know, maybe they've done a, sorry Maria, going back to your question, maybe they've gone, they've done a, you know, a textile degree or something, you know, or, or something like that and they've actually decided that's their job and they produce stuff like this. I mean, Look at the quilting on this. The texture on it is incredible. Really, really incredible, the texture on it. Withering Quilters Group. Uh, I go to support Quilt for Care Leavers. Oh, that's nice, Margaret. Yeah, they're a really lovely charity. They do some, do some really good work. So this is a, a exhibition called uh, from, by Sydney Snell. There we go. I'm just going to have a little wander around these so you can see but the thing I'm really struck with they, they look neon, they look lit they're so cleverly done there we go. sorry, it's a bit of a slow connection this place it really is there we go I mean it just looks you stand back from them and they they look really detailed but actually when you get up close it's it's just little pieces of fabric. Just little pieces of fabric. So that sounds awful, but it's just fabric and thread. But yeah, I think it's practice, Maria. It's practice over and over and over and over. Uh, oh, I love this one. Hang on, sorry guys, I'm going to swing round. I love that. There's something incredible about that orange against the blue. And again, the texture's stunning, absolutely stunning. The amount of work and, and all that's in there. And I think they'd have been washed so they shrink and you get this beautiful wrinkled puckered effect. Lovely. Right, I wish I had more time to actually sort of stand and do more of these, but um, I've kind of got to get back to the stand as well. Oh, what's this one? I didn't look at this one. We'll just have a quick, brief look at this one. Because I really want to show you the art quilts. Some of the art quilts are absolutely incredible. That's in the competition. These are really interesting. I'm just going to give you a little quick brief. I suppose they must make mistakes at least at first. Absolutely. And sometimes I think the mistakes are what, where they get ideas from, you know? How do you go about, you know, I mean, this is... Yeah, this piece here, it's, re it's really interesting, really, really interesting. But actually, it is only just squares and lines and, you know, if you sew, you know, these are, these are part of the fabric, these aren't appliqued, they've stitched into those. You know, it's treating your fabric like a canvas, I suppose, isn't it? Morning. I'll be back there at uh, quarter past one. Uh, quarter past eleven, sorry. Quarter past eleven. And we're going down here. In fact, let's go down the outside. Morning. You right, lovely? Good show? Very good show. Yeah, it's been great, hasn't it? Yeah. So, uh, Absolutely manic the first two days. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, actually, by yesterday we were like, oh, I'm quite glad it's a bit, a bit quieter today. But yeah, it was crazy, wasn't it? Yeah. But uh, 
but all good. Good. Yeah, you seem very. You seem quite sparse, love. You've sold quite a lot. Spreading everything out, moving it around. Yeah. Have a good show, babes. Uh, right, let's go. I don't think we've been down this way. Uh, there's Lily Fabrics. We've got loads of yummy things. Um, what have we got here? We've got white white cottage cloths here. Beautiful kits on there. Really, really beautiful kits here. I mean, stunning traditional quilts. They are E135 white cottage country crafts. They're really gorgeous. And then quilted bear on the end here. So, right, right. Are you still all with me? Are you still all, you know, listening to my nonsense? What I thought we could do is go down the end of. Um, Barnyans are here, all their different threads. I, I do actually need to come and get some orophil before we go. I'm hoping they've got the colours I want. <laughs> um, but yeah, um, what was I going to say? I thought we'd go down the edge of the next hall and have a little look at some of the other quilts because some of the art quilts are incredible. Sorry, I know this is a little bit. That was Stuart, H Stuart Hillard. Yes, it was Stuart Hillard. <laughs> it was indeed chattering away he's got a stand here Debbie Shaw's got a stand here as well she came came and had a chat yesterday so yeah that's going on hiya you all right uh, right let's whip down here I mean all of these I just haven't got time to get into everything guys sorry I mean there's some stunning stunning work oh sorry Enjoying the tour. Good, good, good. I'm glad. <laughs> uh, right. I promised that I would do some of the art quilts and some of the little miniatures here as well. So let's go. Um, I think they're down this way. Down this way. Morning. Hello. Okay, right, where are the art quilts? So, there, we did the traditionals yesterday. Um, did we do any of them? I think we did some of the modern quilts. Mm, maybe not. Miniatures are on the back wall, so we're going to head that way. Did we do the modern quilts? I don't know. I can't remember what I showed you now. <laughs> but we'll have a little look as we go down. There we go. I do like all the colours on that one. I think that's incredible. You're getting your steps in, that's for sure. <laughs> Definitely getting our steps in. It is a busy old day. Oh, that's an interesting idea. Isn't that clever? So they've taken like a, you know, a traditional quilt. And it looks like it's all been sort of like cut up and broken. And then pieced onto that really like rich navy. Oh, that's really clever. I like that. That's called Shuttered Dreams. Very, very interesting piece of work. I like that. Go then this way. Again, with these quilts, I can't show you everything. I'm just going to try and... Um, if there's anything there, shout. Just shout and go, ooh, oh, ooh, 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 look at that. That's incredible. It's like a kaleidoscope. It looks like pleated paper, doesn't it? Like you've got that depth and everything. That's very clever. Beautifully put together. They're like um, the wax prints, aren't they? Those beautiful wax prints fabrics. There we go. So these are part of the contemporary quilts but I wanted to see, see some I saw some pictures online last night of the art quilts oh my eye is running again <sighs> that's interesting too really clear it's an illusion it really Good does morning, oh, there we go welcome to the festival of quilts 2024 
We would like to wish you all a very successful and enjoyable final day at the show. The Festival of Quilts is now open. So these are all the little ones. These are like 10 to 13 year olds. Look at these. How lush the little ones are. The little ones, younger people are getting into quilting. Very, very cute. Yeah. Oh, and then these are the five to nine year olds. Oh, bless them. <laughs> that is really sweet. And oh, look, he's done like proper, this is five to nine year olds. They've done proper piecing. Oh. It's very sweet. I love the fact that the little ones do stuff. And then here we got here we have the miniatures. So yeah, Gwyneth, this is just for you, lovely. Here we go. Aren't they wonderful? It really is. It's so sweet. Look at those tiny little. Remember these are that size, sort of hand span. Okay. I'll show you these ones. They're stunning, aren't they? See, I love. Oh, I like this one. Look at that. Look at the illusion with that of that. Just using those different colours, you get that real light happening. But to be able to do those curves so accurately, so I mean, each little block is. You can see there's a block there, and that's the size of my little fingernail. Crazy, crazy skillful. Again, it's the type of thing I would definitely not have the patience for. But they are beautifully, beautifully done. Mm. Oh, there's our little, little tunnex. <laughs> there we go. Uh-oh. Trouble's here again. <laughs> Got inception happening. It's going to be White Gecko versus Crafty UK punch-up in a minute. Live on Facebook. I'll tell you what. I reckon my girls have put odds on me, mate. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Here we I go. might be short, but I can run fast. <laughs> right, ready? We'll do a swap. Quick tango. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Cute little cats there. I mean, these are beautiful, really. Definitely need to end some of your granddaughter's quilt next year. Oh, you really should, Claire. You really should, and how amazing for her to see it hung up with everybody else's stuff. I mean, it would just be gorgeous, wouldn't it? There we go. Look at these tiny, tiny little bears that have been done. There we go. So I'm just going to walk gently down these now because I've got to think about getting back. Oh, that's a good one. Look at those tumbling blocks. I mean, people just have so much skill. Oh, so much skill. Oh, so this one. One second I see tumble block, tumbling blocks, and the next second I see stars, and then I have to move my head just half an inch, and it goes from stars to tumbling blocks, stars to tumbling blocks. Didn't do, see that section? I had no idea they could enter. Yeah, they have four different, three different categories: five to nine-year-olds. I like that as well. That's really good. Yeah, so, um, right, I'm gonna, our quilt's back down there, so I'm gonna go this way. Oh, I, I didn't show you the, the pride um, angel wings, which I think are gorgeous. I'll show you those later. I want to find the art quilts, because they, there were some photos that I really saw online last night. I was like, oh, So, the young quilter themes, there's five to nine year olds, 10 to 13s and then 14 to 18s. <laughs> People are asking about the young quilters, about what age group. So, so yeah. Um, but yeah, absolutely. If you've got little ones that are quilting, go for it. Go get get them in there. Get them, you know, showing it. Look, this is some of the 10 to 13 year olds. Recognised his voice. <laughs> it's Andy from Craft UK. So, looking for the art quilts really wanted to see them but I can't find them we're in the contemporary these are two person quilts we'll go down this way because I don't think we did these ones so. and you know if you enter a quilt it's where you get a free ticket in which is good <laughs> oh 
Oh, I like that. I love those colours. It's really beautiful. Okay. Workshops are that way. Sorry, I'm just trying. There, hang on. I can see the start of the art quilts up here. There was a couple that I really wanted to see. Yeah, I got it. That I was just like, oh, yummy. Hang on. Sorry, I've just got to change hands. There we go. Getting cramp. <laughs> I liked this one, all denims. I mean, really interesting. Looks like, you know, trees, you've got the moon in all there, that birch tree. When you get close, I just thought this was really clever, how they've used like all old bits of denim and then just raw appliqued it on, raw edge appliqued. Liked that a lot. And some very, very interesting bits here. Still can't find the one that I was looking for. Maybe they're down this way. I didn't do. Oh gosh, there's lots of art quilts. We definitely did some of these because I remember talking about that one. I think I must just have missed out whole whole section. Some really interesting stuff. I like. Oh, I thought that was clever. You see this one here. It's really, really clever. Yeah, when you see it, look through your phone. So when you look, you can't, obviously, guys obviously can't tell, but when you look through your phone, you can see the face, you can see the portrait yeah. up here, but kind of in real life, it's a lot harder to see. It's, if I come like this, you can see it's just like a, um, like a snail trail type thing. Yeah. Okay, I'll show you that cover on that for you it's really really interesting fact isn't it it's very amazing. very cleverly, cleverly done true. yeah and then when you walk away you can see that oh sorry <laughs> walk away you can see the face appear it's people are very clever very very clever that's nice too Oh, I can't find the one that I saw a picture of. I really wanted to. I do like that as well. And or the orange up against that sort of tealy blue colour is, is gorgeous, isn't it? Really gorgeous. There we go. I'll just hang on to that. It's Lee Higgins. But that matched it in really beautiful matchstick quilt in. That's really fantastic. Really fantastic. Oh, here's one of them. I loved this. This was the picture that I saw. There is something about that just absolutely appeals to me. Do you think the artists use computers to create the ideas first? Possibly, yes. I mean, I would say that um, portrait one, absolutely. They would have plotted that all out, you know, they'd have taken the photo, plotted it all out and worked it all out. Yeah, definitely, you know. <laughs> and then some really beautiful, like, traditional quilts, nice quilting on those ones. <laughs> That's cute, isn't it? That little chipmunk. This was the one that I wanted to see. I think this is gorgeous. I absolutely love this one. I love the quilting on it. I love the colour. I just think it's stunning. Look how clever. Really beautiful quilting on it. I like the fact that they've done like traditional blocks, really traditional blocks, just you know, simple rail fences, little flying geese, all that type of thing. But it looks so modern and so clean. So I like the juxtaposition, that's a hard word, isn't it? The juxtaposition of that one. The fact you've got the traditional elements in there, but it's such a clean, modern looking quilt. It's really gentle, isn't it? Gentle and restful. There we go. Right, I should probably get back and do some work, I suppose. Otherwise, Sarah and Sean will be like, where have you been?
Oh, wow. Not my taste colour-wise or style, but the work in that is incredible. Absolutely incredible. The quilting is very, very heavily quilted. Like, really dense quilting in it. But the most exquisite applique and EPP work. Really, really beautiful. Let me go, uh, just hover on that for you. There we go. Right, my lovelies, I am going to um, get back here. Get back to the stand. I'm going to just take you this way. That's clever. Take you back this way. I love that blue. That, I really do love that blue. Who's it by? Let me just... Uh, there we go. I think it's gorgeous. I like the fact it's a faced edge instead of a bound edge as well. So I am going to hang on. Is there more on the outside here or are they all on the inside? Oh look, there's more here as well. So um, I'm going to go this way so that I can get back to the stand. <laughs> Something I say to my husband sometimes, don't you? I mean, dare. <laughs> Love that. <gasps> Oh, look at this. Oh, the texture is incredible on it. Can you see the texture, guys? It's absolutely higher. Hi, Marilyn. You are right, lovely? Oh, it just feels... I mean, I don't know if you're getting it, but it feels like it's literally on fire. Like, the war you almost feel like a warmth from it. It's incredible. I love the texture on that as well. Right, there's people in, lots and lots of people in. So I better go and do some work, my lovelies. There's, um, I'm just trying to go. Oh, he's cool. It's not parrot cool. Oh, I like the way they've quilted that. How clever is the quilting to give, give it sort of perspective. So they've quilted, quilted like behind it, almost so it looks like, you know, um, fields going away on the perspective but then you've got like movement of the air underneath the wings sorry that is oh there we go just hover there really clever oh sorry mm -hmm. there we go oh. oh my goodness I love that too. oh see I'm getting distracted look at that People are so flipping clever, they really are. It really is incredible. The quilting on it is beautiful. Different, they've used the quilting to create the texture. It's very, very clever. Here we go, we'll just pull out so you can see the whole thing. Really gorgeous, really, really gorgeous. Right, I've got to get back to the stand. Although, actually, it doesn't look like there's many people around as in today as there has been. Right, that's uh, probably as much as I'm going to be able to do. I might be able to get out again later, very possibly. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. If I can, I will do some more for you. If not, my lovelies, um, please do think about coming next year. I mean, it's been crazy busy. We really have been incredibly busy. <gasps> like that as well. Incredibly busy the last few days. So thank you to everybody who came to visit us and everything. If you're coming today, please do say come and say hello. But, um, but yeah, festival is just a different beast to all other quilt shows. It really is. It's so inspiring and I mean this yes this shop in here and everything but just come and see the quilts come and come and see those in person because as much as I do these silly little walk arounds and everything for you you don't get the you can't get that feeling of some of them I mean genuinely I've, I've been tearful at some of the quilts it's incredible absolutely incredible so that's it for me my darlings I might try and do something else later depending on how busy we are um, and how it goes but um, if, if I can't, I'll see you next week for one o'clock. We should be back on 
Tuesday with one o'clock um, and I've got two weeks in the shop pretty much by myself apart from Anne and Indy Lou because uh, Miss Sarah Jane has got jury duty so that's going to be interesting <laughs> but if not I will see you on Tuesday darlings um, I might put some more photos up um, if it's quiet I'll do something else later but if not Tuesday take care bye